First of all, welcome to Cologne. Thank you. From my side. So, uh, what was your trip uh, like first up, and oh. how tough was to get over the jet lag if you are over it? Well, it's yeah. tough going. I mean, we lose an eight hour, eight hours coming here. So, I, you know, I got the phone call Wednesday morning and uh, spent all day basically doing paperwork, packing, getting things, get my family in order, and uh, left Thursday morning and got here this morning so it's I think it was about an 18 hour trip and you lose eight hours so basically a whole day is disappeared with travel and I think I got back to the hotel or got to the hotel around noon today and addressed the players and try to get a little bit of a nap in and, and showed up at the rink and you know it's been a it's been a crazy last you know 36 hours. As you said you didn't have all that much time to talk to the players prior to the game what did you tell them or was it just basically an introduction well we went over a few things that I, I during that span i was able to watch their last couple of games on the internet and uh you know, i like the talent level of our team we have good goaltending we just have to we have to organize it i guess is probably the best way to do it we we played against the team tonight who played as a team they played as units they played as five man units and they played with a lot of structure and that's where we have to get to that we you know we uh had some good opportunities but we it was more strictly from kind of good individual efforts as opposed to by design and by structure and by system so we have to we got a lot of work to do but you know the guys responded they worked hard they they you know they just you know it, it's it's tough to try and get uh anything really you know implemented with a half an hour meeting basically so it's a little bit of trial by fire we'll have a short practice tomorrow and then we we're right back at it again sunday and then again tuesday so you know unfortunately there's just not a lot of practice time right now you inherited a team that uh, over the course of the season has shown anything or everything from uh, flashes of brilliance to completely like luster efforts what do you self uh, what do you see yourself as or what's the point you will start to work on um, well just just to getting their confidence back up you know and just believing and creating some more trust you know that trust that you know that the players are going to be where and your line mates and your teammates are going to be where they're supposed to be and that uh, you know they understand what they have to do to be successful and I can trust that my line mates going to do what he needs to do and I'm going to do what I'm going to do and and that's how you create you know confidence that's how you create success and then uh, you know like I said we don't have a whole lot of time to, to get this thing going um, but that's really what we're looking to do is just get their confidence back you know start feeling good about themselves again and really start playing more as units with the lack of time or uh, the little time that you have for uh, practicing are you going to work with a the system they're already used to or are you going to implement your own you know hockey for, to a large extent is is hockey you know you, it's more not allowing them as much to get off track and trying to kind of reel them whoops or reel them back in a little bit you know but the, they were having you know they were in the situation they were because of what they were doing so we, I would be a fool to come in and not change a, full, a few things like we have to you know as you can see there are some areas definitely that we have to get better at we have to improve on our specialty teams um, you know we had a early five on three we didn't capitalize on that could have changed the com complexion of the game they got their five on three and they got their goal and, and you know so the timely goals of your specialty teams can really be important. So there are some areas that, you know, that you can definitely have a have an impact on. But again, you need time to practice it. You can go over as much as you want in a video room. It's just repeating that same uh, patterns, whether it's power play, penalty killer, five on five, and until you got it down. Uh, you were saying. Um it was too much thinking as opposed to actually playing. Is that something that you would say comes with confidence that guys uh, stop thinking and just start playing? Or is that something that you have to actively work on? A little bit, a little bit of both. Sometimes when you're you're struggling to score goals and you don't have that confidence level, you're you're basically in your own head and you're thinking too much instead of just going out there and playing. And then when you miss a few chances early, like we did in the power play, you start to get frustration uh, building, and that's you could see that you could see the guys. So basically. You know, we, that's what, like I said, that's what our goal is: is to really try and get their their confidence back, get them playing right, and feeling good about themselves, and, and, and winning hockey games. Could you say a little bit about yourself as a coach? What's your, what would you say is your coaching style, or how would you describe yourself? I don't know if I necessarily have a style. You know, I've coached in many leagues, and you have to adjust and adapt to each league to have success. 
And uh, so I think that's probably my, I guess, if you want to say how I coach, whatever, I'm, I feel I'm able to adjust and adapt. I mean, I saw a, a good hockey team tonight on both sides. We're a good hockey team. You know, we have some good talent. We have guys who care. The meeting went very well. It's, it's just it's going to take a little bit of time. And, you know, maybe I, I expected maybe a little bit too much from them to be able to just watch a video and listen to a meeting and be able to go out there and translate that into a game. You know, I have high expectations on myself and of the players. And, and uh, we'll get a bus ride home and regroup and, and have a good practice tomorrow and come ready to play on Sunday. You've only got 14 games left in the season, in the regular season. Uh, what do you think you can accomplish with this group in time? Well, we're just going to take it, uh, I know this is a cliche, but day by day, we want to have a good practice tomorrow. And if we can have a good practice tomorrow, that will help us build confidence for the game on Sunday. That's really all we're looking at. So right now, you know, we know there's not a lot of games. Um, But we can't worry about that. We have a game on Sunday. We have a practice tomorrow, and that's really what we're trying to worry about. Everything else will take care of itself. Um, we still uh, feel good about who we are and, and, and the talent in the dressing room, and we just got to translate that onto the ice. Did you see certain guys on this team that stood out today or that uh, caught your eye? In I'm, I'm not going to single out one guy. I don't think that would be fair to the rest of them because you know they all worked hard. We just have to channel that energy in, into the right direction and, and to get the results we want. Thank you. What did you think in the moment uh, when uh, Munich scored the two goals in, in nine seconds? What, what does it yeah, that was frustrating time? because we, we had that really good opportunity to, to tie it up and, and when, you're, you know, when your confidence isn't where it needs to be, those can be backbreakers and they were. And like I said, we had that early five on three power play and it You know, it took the momentum a little bit away from us. We we got off to a little bit of a kind of a nervous start, and I thought we started to play really well, five on five, and uh, didn't capitalize on that power play. And like I said, when they got their five on three, they did. And and there was a couple turning points of the game, and to me, those were were probably the two biggest turning points. Is that, you know, the five on three, and then missing a wide open net to tie it up, and then you know, obviously those two late goals. But I thought our guys responded well in the third. We had a couple of really good, you know, momentum shifts, as did they. Um, You know, there's a lot of work, but we're excited and looking forward to the challenge. But what was the thought you had in your mind in this moment? So, whoa, no, well, I'd two goals in nine seconds. That's frustrated. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, we you shouldn't allow that to happen. Um, something to learn from. You know, obviously it wasn't uh, wasn't. You know, I don't know. I'm not even going to finish that sentence. Basically, yeah, it was frustrating. It was frustrating, but. You know, like I said, I, the one thing I liked about it was how our guys responded. They they went into the intermission and, and they were they were upset, but instead of getting down, I thought they showed the right energy. They came out with with a good effort in the third period, and and uh, that's how we need our guys to respond because, like you said, there's not a lot of hockey left, so we can't sit around and feel sorry for ourselves. We have to kind of create our own energy and our own confidence by doing what we did there and, and not allowing to get ourselves down and feeling sorry for ourselves. We're in the situation because of what we've done. We have, we're the only ones who get ourselves out of the situation by sticking together, playing as a team, and uh, playing right, though. I mean, that's to me the big thing is we have to play right, and uh, we have enough talent to win hockey games if we play right on a consistent basis. Last question. How does it feel now for you to go now to your new home place and I'm excited you heard about Cologne so far? I'm excited about it I, you know obviously uh, good fan support great building great city um, it would have been nice like I said to have three four practices in your own building maybe have that first game at home to kind of use that energy from the crowd but you know we're going to get that opportunity tomorrow to have a good practice and and uh, and have a good outing on Sunday And what have you heard about the city and the people there or haven't you heard anything so far um I haven't even really worried about that right now. I'm, I was brought in to worry more about the hockey team, not worry about the city. Uh, obviously, it's a beautiful city. It's uh, it's a great country. I've my brother's in-laws are from from Germany, and and uh, you know I'm I'm happy to be here. Very excited to be here. My family will be here in a few weeks. So, you know, when I got the phone call, I was honored and I was uh, excited to be here. And and I, like I said, to be honest, I haven't given much thought. They they would much rather me worry about the hockey team than than anything else, and, and that's where my whole focus has been. Okay. Thank you.